Thanks for waiting. Nanakuma eats. Hashimoto-san, I didn't order anything. Beauty delivery. Are you joking? Yeah, I wanted to see you. You didn't want to? Oh! Nanakuma! I'm Naoya Ogawa, your everyday second-year college student. Hey! Thanks for helping me with the report the other day. I'll treat you to dinner tonight. I'll pass. I need to go to work. Aren't you working too much? I need to earn a living. Then, at least let me give you this for working hard. What's this? Have you ever heard of Nanakuma Eats? Yeah? I send you a coupon via email. It's yours! Really? You don't eat properly, right? Have some sort of feast. Thanks. Oh, a lot of choices. Okay, I'll order a pizza. I'd never say I'm rich. I go to college on a scholarship. I pay the rent, utilities, and living expenses on my own. I live figuratively. Delivery charges a shipping fee. So, I've never ordered anything. When did I last eat something I didn't cook myself? I can't wait. At this moment, I never thought this order would color my black and white college life. It's here! Nanakuma eats! Thanks. Uh, are you alright? Yeah. You don't seem fine. I'm fine. <sighs> hey! Oh, where am I? I'm relieved. Oh, I gotta get back to work! You should take a rest. No, I can't. Oh. Hey! <sighs> Um, sorry. It's okay. Anyway, you can't work today. You'll get into a car accident at this rate. But... Um, want some? No, it's yours. Don't worry. I'll have leftovers from yesterday. Thanks. You should take a bath first. Oh, don't tell me you lured me in with a pizza. N no you should see yourself in the mirror. Oh, what the... Uh... I'm covered with dirt, and my clothes are ripped. What happened? I fell over earlier. Like I said, you should take a rest. Go take a bath. You can change into my jersey. That was the best bath I've ever had. You're exaggerating. She was really hot. What's wrong? Um, nothing. Let's eat. Yeah, this is great. She smiles like a kid. She looks like a mature lady at first glance, but the childish expressions she sometimes shows on her face are really adorable. I just met her, but I'm captivated by her. So, what's your name? I'm Naoya Ogawa. Ogawa-kun, I'm Kanako Hashimoto. Call me whatever you want. Then, Hashimoto-san, what made you work that hard? You were worn out. Well, actually... She told me that she lost her parents as a kid and was raised by one of her relatives. However, he's not really wealthy. She doesn't want to cause him trouble. So she's working hard to live by herself. Incidentally, she's also a college student like me and pays the tuition on her own. Sorry, it's not a cheery topic. No worries. I feel an affinity with you. I wouldn't say I'm going through the same thing though. Speaking with you makes me feel relaxed for some reason. We had a chat for a while, and she left. I can't get her out of my thoughts. I should have exchanged phone numbers with her. Uh. Oh, sorry. Don't worry. Huh? Hashimoto-san. Ogawa-kun! So, we go to the same college. Seems like so. So, what year are you in? Second. We're the same age. So, you're also... Yeah, you don't have to be that polite toward me. Okay, thanks. <laughs> what? We ordered the same thing. Yeah, miso soup lunch set. This bad boy helps poor students survive. I order this all the time. Me too. <laughs> she occupies more of my heart every time I see her smile. When did I last feel like this? Maybe this is the first time. I can be who I am when I'm with her. It feels great, but I feel nervous at the same time. I ran into her at college several times after that, but 
I couldn't gather the courage to ask her for her phone number. Thanks! That's my 10th delivery. I did a lot. Next up is... Oh, it's near Ogawa-kun's. Come to think of it, we haven't exchanged phone numbers yet. I'm thinking of him while delivering. When did I last get to be who I am toward others? Maybe the day I last spent time with my parents. My relative who adopted me has been in poverty, so I've never been able to be who I am toward him. He raised me going through a lot. I'm really thankful though. So, it's next to the building where he lives. Maybe this is nature's way of telling me to do it. It's telling me to speak with him more. Ask him to spoil me. I'm sure I'll cause him trouble, but I don't want to regret it. I believe my parents would be happy too. Huh? Thanks for waiting. Nanakuma eats. Hashimoto-san, I didn't order anything. Beauty delivery. Are you joking? Yeah, I wanted to see you. You didn't want to? Oh! We haven't exchanged phone numbers. Um, yeah. I was gonna, though. Really? Um, before that, there's something I want to tell you. Huh? I want to move in with you. What? What are you talking about? Can I? Wait, wait. I never thought you'd... I think I'm in love with you. I can't help but look for you when I'm at school. I keep thinking of you at work. Okay. Am I freaking you out? If you were, then I'd be freaking you out too. Huh? I feel the same way about you. I can't get you out of my thoughts lately. I keep thinking of you. I don't know you well, but I'm sure I'd be the happiest guy if I could spend my days with you. Ogawa-kun, then let's do that. You can do whatever you want to do to me. Oh, but we can't. Huh? My place isn't spacious enough for us. And don't say such a thing so easily. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> now I love you even more. Huh? I've been determined. Give me one month. What? Now she hates me? I haven't seen her since that. I can't call her because I didn't get to exchange contact information with her after all. I don't see her at college either. Her existence is fading away in my head. But she told me to wait for her. What's she up to? I wanted to see her so badly that I used Nanakuma Eats many times burning through my money. Still, she never shows up. One day, one month after I last saw her... Yeah. Nanakuma Eats! Hashimoto-san! Hey! Are you okay? Oh! What happened to you? You're worn out. Yeah, like when we first met. <laughs> it's not funny. I've been worried about you the whole time. Sorry, but I worked hard because I wanted to spend time with you. Huh? Take a look. Oh, you've saved up a lot. Now, the fact your place isn't spacious enough isn't an issue. Why did you go this far? I can relax from the bottom of my heart with you. But... I thought I might make you go through a lot if I only ask you to spoil me. So, I worked hard. You worked too hard? What were you gonna do? I said I wouldn't live with you. Well, I was gonna use the money to make you fall for me. I've already fallen for you. Oh. I live with you. Ogawa-kun! At this place! Are you sure? You said it's not spacious. I don't want to bother you. You suddenly brought that up. So, I ended up saying that. But it's not an issue anymore. Okay. So you keep the money. Now it's my turn. Hashimoto-san. No, Kanako-chan. You worked hard. So I'll work hard from now on. Be my girlfriend and move in with me. We save up money together. And move somewhere else someday. Y yeah And so... We started living together. Hasegawa kun, thank you so much! You're our Cupid. Do you two know how many times you've thanked me? I can't even count. Then, help me with a report next time. For free. Leave it to me. I wouldn't have met her if it weren't for him. Buddy, I'm really thankful. Hmm. 
No, Yakun. Morning. Oh. Hey, it's your girlfriend, not a freak. When did you crawl into my futon? What's the matter? We're a couple. We just became a couple. I'm not really. You should know I'm holding myself back. You'd better get ready. Y yeah. We've just started living together. I'm sure we'll see each other's flaws. But I'll recall the day we first met and stay beside her.